actually used to take soup in, for example, to GMTV. I used to take I my own homemade soup. We used to have soup. those um, cottage cheese salads. Yes, we used to have. Like yeah. Eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, and all those kind of healthy, healthy things. And, and actually, I like one of my favourite breakfasts in the whole world was in Indonesia, where you have like lightly curried vegetables mm. um, and that sort of thing. And I love that. And in um, in Jamaica, having Kalaloo for breakfast What's with Kalaloo? Kalaloo, kind of spinachy type stuff. You know, spinach with a little bit of fish for breakfast. Lovely. Mm. Suits well, we were me down talking to the about breakfast when I was trying to set this camera up and everything, and saying that we do have. I have. Well, I had chicken and tomatoes for breakfast. Lovely. This yeah. You had avocado and spring onions. Avocado, spring onions, a bit of pate on toast. Yeah. So people have this thing where they can only eat cereals in the morning. Oh no, I'm not really very good on sweet stuff. I, have, I, I, I will, and I have porridge, and I have to have. I can't do porridge with salt. No, I've no, never I've tried have that. Porridge and maple syrup or porridge and honey. Yes. Only way to go. I'm, afraid I'm, I'm with you yeah. on that. They always say, don't they, have porridge because it fills you up and it's slow release. Yeah. Not for me. Now, I can be hungry about half an hour after porridge, whereas if I have uh, you know, boiled eggs on the boiled eggs and soldiers or poached eggs or an omelette, or something like that. I know fills I me up much more than, I have than porridge. porridge. I then have to have scrambled eggs to a... To yes, a exactly. Mm. Yeah. Apples and carrots are quite good as well. And I quite like an apple and marmite sandwich for breakfast. That's quite nice. Apple and marmite? Lovely. Tried. I can actually read whole books and go... I to, to this day, I mean, I, you know, I read Virginia Woolf to the lighthouse. No idea. Did it have a lighthouse? Was it involved? I don't even remember reading any... No, I read all the words. I got to the end and went, that's it, I've read that. What no idea. About? No idea. And yet some books just stick in mm. your head completely. I read Lord of the Rings over oh, I the weekend. I loved Lord of the Rings. Whole weekend. Bought a, hired a sunbed and lay underneath it for three days and read the whole of Lord of the Rings. Lay underneath the sunbed? Yeah, it's too high so I didn't get brown at all, but at least it was warm. Underneath the sunbed? Yeah, but it was a, a you know a toppy thing that you lay underneath. It, it shone on you. Oh, I you see. You lay One underneath, and you were supposed to get brown. Oh, not really underneath, in between. Well, I didn't have a bottom bit because it was only a rental. <laughs> I'm awfully so confused. Anyway. Well, anyway, it was Lord of the Rings in the weekend, and I got to the end and I thought, my God, I just I feel desolate now. But I couldn't go back and start it all over again. No, I don't think I could go and read it all over again. I did. I was madly in love with Aragorn though. Oh gosh. But he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't like the film. No, not from the film. No, I absolutely didn't fancy him in the film. Did you fancy anybody in the film? No, not really. No, I just thought, uh, but in the book, Aragorn to me was like, I suppose he was like um, Daniel Day-Lewis in The Last of the Mohicans. That's as I imagined him. I imagined him green-eyed. I've no idea, actually, in the book, whether his eyes are described, but I imagined him green-eyed and dark-haired and rather... Gorgeous Mystical scene. people have green eyes, though, don't yes, they? Yes, I think so, too. Some books you, you read and then you go, that was brilliant. And then other books, like, I hated The Great Gatsby, but I love the final line. And it is one of the best lines in a book. And it's a line, sadly, I keep on... I've been misquoting it as being from Graham Greene for years. And then I was reading it to a, a girlfriend's daughter, and um, I was reading through it, and I kept on, obviously, saying, you know... Oh, I hated Daisy. Oh, look at these people, they're all just so shallow and hideous. I know that's the point, but nevertheless, I kind of want to like somebody or other. I didn't even like the narrator. And then the final line comes, and there it is. And so we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. And I go, oh no! It's one of my favourite lines. And it's from this book where I don't really like anybody. Me. No. Did you I like, like Bambi? Didn't see the film. Okay. No, haven't seen Very the film. Very surreal. It's not like Elizabeth Bennet, How to Pride and Prejudice, is it? Hmm? Not quite, no. Which no, Daisy's are. very annoying. Although the actress who did it was just, just fantastic. I saw her on TV the other day. She was just stunning and looked completely different to the film. I don't think I've read the book, actually. Perhaps it's a... No, I don't think I'll bother. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Beautifully written, but just Do you remember books from your childhood? Because I remember uh, doing the Katie books and never forgetting them and Mallory Towers, Girls at Boarding School. The is, I remember reading them, but I have remember nothing about them. I, rem I loved the famous five, but I have no I idea. I, I, can't, I think the Timmy the dog, but that was it. I remember Timmy the dog. And was it but Wilhelmina? Jack. Was it Billy? Was it Billy? George. Was it? There was George, there was George who was a girl. girl. Oh, yeah, that's right. I knew it was a girl who was a, called a boy's name, and I always wanted to be called a boy's name. Do you know, I always wanted to be called either Frankie or Georgie or Charlie for Charlotte. Stevie. Yeah. Stevie, I quite fancy. Anne just seems to be the dullest mm. name in the world. Anne of Green Gables. 
still a dull name. Well, you see, look at me, Penny Pitstop or Lady Penelope. I mean, you know, sort of Penelope always. Penelope. Yeah, but they're always, you know, lipsticky and kind of, you know. That's kind of not really you. You're not kind no, of. No, it yeah. isn't. In fact, I was, yeah, exactly. I'm yeah, wearing a little bit of lipstick. <laughs> Why have I eaten it off? <laughs>